and we had uh, substantial further uh, progress guidance. On the labor markets, I'd say we've made very significant progress, and I would... Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Expect if we continue to have reports like we've had over the last two with very substantial uh, payroll employment gains that by the September meeting, uh, we would, in my view, uh, meet the substantial further progress uh, criteria and that that would imply um, starting to taper sometime this fall. So I welcome the fact that we're seeing higher wages, uh, particularly in areas that are being impacted by the pandemic. So uh, think, think about people that work in restaurants, people that uh, work in hotels. Um, these are frontline jobs right now. And in order to attract the workforce that these companies need, uh, they're offering higher wages. Uh, that's good for uh, greater economic equality, uh, um, as well as the fact that I don't think asset purchases are having the desired impact on really promoting employment and maybe resulting in prices uh, going up in sectors that we don't necessarily want them to go up. And I would highlight housing and autos as an example, where we're not seeing big surges in employment, but we are seeing big surges in prices. Uh, that, in my view, is inconsistent with a sustainable inflation rate. Our goal is not to get temporary price increases, but to basically get wages and prices to continue to go up at around 2%.